Putin's people is really about how it was that, that Putin came to power, where he came from, his background in the KGB, and how he maintained close ties to all those he'd worked with closely in the Leningrad KGB from the late 70s and then through the 80s, and basically kept the same modus operandi uh, through his career when he was working as deputy mayor in St. Petersburg, and then when he took over the country as president. Unfortunately for us, he was still expert in the art of covert operations, and that was really his toolkit. He wanted to restore Russia's standing on the world stage, but the only way he knew how to do to was not, was not through building a competitive or vibrant economy. It was trying to use active measures, various dark arts to undermine and upset uh, his rivals in the West. Unfortunately, I think it's a, a horrible accident of history. I think Putin, of course, he has these imperial ambitions. He wanted to restore Russia's standing on the world stage. But I think, unfortunately, uh, it is a result of his increasing isolation over the two years of the pandemic. The circle of people around him narrowed uh, to a great extent. There were even some of his closest advisors, like Igor Sechin, had to quarantine for two weeks before they would be able to get to see him. So I think the the his intake of information was, was severely narrowed. And he, I think he really did believe that he could take Ukraine in a number of days. He was receiving intelligence from his federal security services that uh, Zelensky would flee, that uh, he'd be able to walk in and basically take over the keys to Kiev. And that didn't happen. And when it didn't happen, he was boxed into a corner. And now we have what we have. I think, unfortunately, the, at the moment, they've had little impact on Putin's own mindset. He seems determined to push through with this to the degree that he's taken the step that he never wanted to take. He's taken the step which is going to undermine the foundations of his own presidency. He's had to send his own people off to war. And already we see this eroding his popularity fast. But he's had his head in the sand about the impact of sanctions. And the economy of Russia is already uh, suffering deeply from the sanctions that have been imposed so far. So don't believe uh, the rhetoric when the Russians say it's not hurting, because uh, it really is. There are many sectors of industry that have come to a complete standstill. Uh, they're making massive budget cuts already. And economic hardship combined with a population now that is uh, increasingly anxious and upset and is taking to the streets over the mobilization plan, then you have a recipe for Putin's rule to be ended quite soon, I would think. And I do believe that uh, from within Putin's own security services now, there is this growing unease. They see uh, Putin now has essentially blown up the foundations of his own regime. He was uh, president for more than 20 years because he offered the population and his own elite stability. The billionaires were able to make enormous amounts of money as long as they agreed to share their wealth with uh, the, the, the Kremlin. Uh, and for the security services as well, it's very important to have soft power networks uh, to be able to compete with the West. And these soft power networks have now been ripped up uh, as a result of the sanctions. And now the, f the other foundation of Putin's presidency is his popularity, and that's rapidly draining away. Uh, so I was told by one uh, very very good source, a, a Russian billionaire, that he believes the next two or three weeks are really going to be decisive in determining how the elite uh, continues to view Putin as to whether infighting is going to break out over essentially removing him. Because if Russia continues to suffer military uh, defeats, then his position is going to become increasingly untenable.